All right, what we have here is a seven and a half horsepower rotary phase converter. Um, as you can tell, this is just the control box. The uh, idle motor is actually outside. Um, this is where uh, power, 220 single phase power comes into the unit. As you can tell, I've got it unplugged. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a few things inside. Uh, start button, stop button, and emergency stop. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, 90 amp uh, motor, three phase motor starter. Uh, this is uh, single phase power coming in here and here, going through the starter. Uh, the starter relay is powered by this 24 volt transformer that comes down from 110 to 24. The 110 power is supplied off of a light switch inside my shop. So if I ever uh, have the converter running and leave the shop, and turn the lights off, it'll shut everything down for me. Anyway, so uh, transforming the 24 volt, uh, going through the switches, uh, through a normally uh, open contactor into the relay on the back side here, which picks up the call and closes the contacts for single phase 220 coming out. And uh, potential relay that drops out and picks up at certain voltages for the starting capacitors. The starting capacitors are for the idle motor which is outside and as well as the run capacitors is for the idle motor outside. Uh, the When you send power to the relay it uh, picks up and sends voltage through the through the starting capacitors to the idle motor. As soon as the idle motor gets up to uh, preset voltage, it's on the relay, uh, it drops these out. So then the only capacitors that are uh, helping the idle motor is the run capacitors. And basically, the only reason for the run capacitors is to help tune the voltage uh, coming off of the, the wild or phantom leg. And in this case, it happens to be this leg right here. Okay, so this is this is a single phase 220 on the middle leg and on the bottom leg, and this top leg is actually coming back from the idle motor, and that's the wild leg three phase. Uh, coming out over here, um, we got uh, L1, L2, and L3 going to the equipment. This is uh, three phase power right here leaving going overhead to the equipment that I'm trying to run, like the uh, lathe and milling machine. Uh, and that's just a quickie on it. Um, here again, a single phase 220 power coming in, um, single phase power going out to the idle motor, as well as the third wild leg coming back, and then three phase power that's been generated going out to the work equipment. And here's the idle motor. Uh, seven and a half horsepower three phase uh, as you can see uh, that's where my uh, feeds coming out of the control box and I put it out here just for noise and space reasons and uh, actually it's relatively quiet to be honest right, with you let's but fire this baby up and see what it does I doubt you'll be able to hear the motor probably just the uh, relay kicking in the motor starter uh, you might be able to hear it possibly okay Let's come on over here and uh, go to lathe the milling machine. And we'll start the lathe first. And then let's engage it. All right. Go to the milling machine. We'll start it as well. As you can tell, it's no problem uh, to run both of them. Uh, the converter's uh, seven and a half horsepower, and I'm only looking at three horse on the lathe and two horse on the milling machine. And now I want to show you uh, 
Remember I was telling you about the transformer, the 120 to 24 volt transformer for just in case I forget. Uh, I don't know if you can see the milling machine, maybe you can hear the motor starters drop out. There we go. So uh, it's not necessarily a safety deal. Uh, it's just uh, one of those if you forget type scenarios and happen to leave the shop uh, without turning the converter off, the light switches drops it out. Hope you enjoy it.